So, following my previous video, which was a quick look at DaVinci Resolve and why I was like, this could be the best video editor on Linux if certain things were worked out, I then wanted to um, take a look at other things, comparing uh, a AMD card versus an NVIDIA card, and then on an NVIDIA card, OpenCL versus CUDA performance, which... Um, Spoiler alert, obviously, you're going to want to use CUDA if you're on an NVIDIA card. OpenCL does work, and that's still faster than using an open source video editing program. But, um, yeah, you're, you're going to want to use CUDA on an NVIDIA card. Anyway, though, um, other than that, I got some somewhat interesting results. Although, I think in my situation, I started running into a CPU bottleneck. But um, that's also kind of not a terrible thing, because what I'm about to show you here can translate to, okay, if you're running like a, a, a Ryzen 7 1700 or something, you don't need a crazy powerful graphics card because the CPU will be bottlenecking the render times, I assume is what's going on here anyway, because that's the only thing I can think of. So anyway, uh, let me switch over to this view here. So this is the same test clip that I've been using in all of the tests so far. It's a simple minute long footage from gameplay, which, you know, not the best thing to compare it against for like professional level editing stuff, but like for a YouTuber who does a lot of gaming stuff, this is a pretty decent scenario, I would think, because in most cases, you're not going to do a lot of crazy effects. So anyway, um, going in here, the original results I had were with the RX 570, and 720, 720p, it only took 18 seconds, 1080p, 27 seconds, 1440, 46 seconds, and then 4K, a minute 31. Okay, so then we go to the uh, GTX 770. I did, I ran the CUDA one first, then the OpenCL, and then I did it backwards for the 980 Ti, but um, anyway. So with CUDA, you get slightly, very slightly faster results Although, I will say, on the Radeon, because that needed the AMD GPU Pro drivers, I had to run an Ubuntu 16.04 release, whereas for the NVIDIA stuff, I am running on Solus. So that is one extra variable there, but as you can see, it's not that huge of a difference anyway, so we're, I'm going to call that within margin of error. Anyway, um, so with OpenCL... Obviously, I mean, it works. It's just obviously a lot slower for NVIDIA. The Radeon, of course, that would have to be OpenCL because AMD doesn't do CUDA. So with their, with both of them using what they are strong with, the results are very much the same on a Ryzen 7 1700. So even if you're only running an RX 570 or you have an older GTX card with CUDA, you're going to still get pretty good speeds out of Resolve, which is fantastic. So, um, yeah. So OpenCL was a minutes one. Um, interestingly, the 720p render for both, for OpenCL, for both um, the NVIDIA cards, took longer than 1080p. Which is very strange. Very strange, but that is how it happened. Um... And then, of course, 4K took the longest for all of them, but, you know, why wouldn't it? But then, it was it got interesting when I got to the 980 Ti, though, because, um, first off, the CUDA results were identical to the 770, which, again, gives credit to my theory that it's probably a CPU bottleneck I've run into at this point, but, I mean, with speeds like this, it, it's not exactly a problem. So, yeah, but um, with the OpenCL benchmarks... Especially giving credence to that, um, I got the same times for the 4K render. So, yeah. Um, not a whole lot to look at here, but I did want to get this video out to show that if you are considering using DaVinci Resolve, um, and you get around the whole lack of audio issue by either getting a Blackmagic card, or if you're, I guess, just not running it on Linux in the first place... But anyway, um, so if you do, you can still get very nice render times, even if you don't have a, like, super powerful graphics card. So, um, yeah, interesting to see there. So that's going to be it for this one, dude. This is a lot shorter than most of the, most of the, um, Linuxy videos that I do, but I'm sure a lot of people might prefer that. 
So anyway, that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to continue doing more tests of various editors and other Linuxy stuff in the future. I am still going to get to the um, Lightworks versus Resolve tests at some point because Lightworks, um, it's still slower than Resolve when Resolve is doing, um, when it's using the optimized compute thing for whatever card you're using. But I mean, it did do faster than NVIDIA with OpenCL. So I don't, it, it, I'm, I'm more interested in the Lightworks results now than I was before is what I'm saying. So I'm probably going to get to that eventually within the next month or two. Um, but until then, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.